Hi everybody and welcome back to my modeling channel. So today we are going to build uh, an Airbus A320 from Revel and uh, I'm going to use some aftermarket decal uh, to finish that airplane. So let's open the box or the kit and see what we have inside. So I got that kit most probably from eBay as it came as a bag kit so I don't have much things, I don't have all the instruction sheet but it's a pretty simple kit to build and um, it will be quite easy as I did uh, a lot of those in the past. So initially the first sprue we have uh, the cockpit uh, windscreen and the nav lights and we have the fuselage which is composed of two parts as we can see and they are, uh, the panel lines are engraved inside the kit itself. So on the middle, on the center part of the sprues, we have uh, all the details for the undercarriage and we'll have the options of uh, putting the gear up or down. Now let's see the second sprue. And we can see that this is composed of the wing and engines. So the wings are in two parts, as we can see, and uh, we call that a sandwich. We have the winglets over here and the vertical stabilizer. Now, these planes has only one version for the engines, so I won't have any uh, other options, but uh, as I have my uh, box, I might be able to do something. So, what we have now, what we are going to do, we are going to do I have some uh, old decals from uh, Mass Decal and I'm going to do basically uh, a special livery from uh, Air Canada on the A320 and that was for their uh, Raptor uh, basketball team. So as you can see that sheet is composed of uh, a different, uh, three different uh, A320 you can do, they are all Canadians. You have uh, Tango which was the low cost uh, of Air Canada, you have the Raptor from Air Canada, Special Livery and Canadian Airlines A320. So enough of talking and see uh, what we can uh, get at the end of that. So we are going to start uh, that kit by preparing the parts and as you can see there is quite a lot of work as uh, a lot of plastic went through the mold and uh, so it has been spreading around. So uh, initially uh, mainly on the wings um, I had to, uh, to do a lot of uh, a lot of work. After that a little bit of uh, preparation for the fuselage but that was uh, I would say more or less uh, at the correct level. So I will uh, fit as well uh, some uh, modeling paste as uh, used as ballast to avoid and to prevent the model to sit on its tail and uh, after that of course we're gonna glue uh, two uh, half of the fuselage together. So what I normally do as well on my models is uh, I paint the window and I use decals for the window. So I will fill all the window holes with glue, let it dry and cover it with uh, some uh, air putty, some Tamiya putty and uh, after that of course you will see uh, the, the rest. So now what we are doing we are gluing the wings and uh, after that I'll put the clear part on the basically the cockpit window on the, the model itself. And uh, when it will uh, dry, I'll uh, to avoid to spread too much of that putty. Uh, what I will do is I will uh, start putting some uh, adhesive tape on the, around the windows and then uh, fill the windows uh, with some uh, Tamiya putty.
So once the putty has been dried, it was time to uh, sand it down. As you know, uh, it's uh, quite a lengthy uh, time. So uh, after finishing uh, polishing and uh, sanding down all the window, I saw that there was some uh, remaining uh, holes still. So uh, I had to uh, put some putty all over again to make sure that uh, everything, all the gaps were filled. And uh, of course, I had to uh, let it dry once again and then uh, we're gonna be able to uh, finally uh, do the final uh, polish. Also had some uh, little uh, parts who broke on the tail, so I had to rebuild it with some uh, putty. While the putty was drying, I start to uh, do the basic assembly and fill some gaps on the intake of those engines. Now we're going to work on the, the undercarriage of the aircraft, so of course I'll have to prepare the parts and uh, there was a little bit of uh, extra work as uh, the plastic had, uh, had been leaking through the mold. So after that I use uh, some uh, light grey to paint uh, the wheels, the um, inside of the wheels, and then I use some uh, metal gun colour from Tamiya to uh, paint the carbon brakes basically on the back of uh, those wheels. And of course, I use again the same uh, gray color to paint the inside of the, the wheels. So we are now going to paint the fan disc of the engines. And for that, I'll use the same color of uh, like the Corregar. It's a mix of dark gray and metallic paint. Of course, I will uh, do the final adjustments and uh, try to remove all the extra putty that I had on the inside part of uh, the engine. And after, we'll do the uh, assembly of the engine uh, itself. So we're going to finish now uh, sending our uh, window frames on that aircraft. And uh, while uh, we finish to uh, to fill up and uh, to, uh, to send down all the putty, the extra putty on the, that aircraft, we'll be able to uh, rescribe all the panels. So for this, I will be using um, a razor blade saw and uh, after that to rescribe everything and I will use a rescribing tool just to finish basically the uh, panel lines. It is now time to uh, glue our uh, wings to our uh, main body and put the uh, horizontal uh, stabilizer. After that, of course, there will be uh, some more uh, putty required to uh, fill up all the gaps between the wings and uh, the main uh, part of the fuselage. It's now time to uh, put uh, the uh, horizontal uh, stabilizer on the aircraft, so of course, uh, once again, that required a little bit of uh, extra work and uh, as uh, there was a lot of plastic leaking uh, on the model. After that, we'll put the engine and uh, after this, once again, we'll uh, just add a little bit more putty, fill up the gaps and uh, we'll do the final touch-up uh, on that model a little bit later on. now time to uh, join the paint shop so for this I will start initially with the Corregar and uh, that part I normally use a dark grey color mixed with a little bit of um, aluminium flat aluminium uh, from um, Tamiya after that I had to cover it up and uh, what I did is I did uh, the light grey paint on uh, the wing of course and after that we'll do the anti-ice uh, de-icing system of the aircraft which is basically the leading edge and uh, the engine lips as well.
after finishing uh, the paint, now it's time to remove uh, all the, the masking, all the masking tape on that model. So after that, uh, we'll be able to start processing the decal. I have to say that uh, decaling this aircraft, where the decal were pretty good, I used brass decal. But the main problem was the head of the Raptor, as uh, the decal is a very uh, large one and uh, the surface is uh, not very um, very flat so I had to use uh, some uh, decal uh, solution but also I had some uh, wrinkle on the decal you will see when it dry and I had to uh, also add a little bit of extra paint uh, that I hand painted. The final result you will see toward the end but uh, that was the main challenge basically on decaling that aircraft. now time to do the final touch-up so I will add uh, the couple of uh, remaining antennas uh, on that aircraft and after that we're gonna paint them in uh, matte black which was the original uh, color on, on that model and uh, once uh, this will be finished I will add uh, a glossy finish and uh, some uh, glossy varnish on that So this is the end result of that uh, Airbus A320 from Air Canada with the Raptor livery. I hope you enjoyed that build uh, with me. If you did so, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will uh, see you soon in another build video. Thank you for watching.